Hi, I'm Derek B, editor of the Peru Tribune, back with you today for another edition of Tomorrow's News, our daily video feature in which we tell you a little bit about what to expect in the next day's newspaper. Uh, today's Monday, June 23rd, 2014, so I'll be telling you what you can expect in the Tuesday, June 24th print edition of the Tribune or online tonight at perutribune.com. On our lead story, um, I talked to uh, local school officials about iRead 3 remediation. Um, McConnick was already taking the test and Peru is taking it this week. It's not able to get anybody from the North Miami side of it. Um, they're looking to improve uh, so that more third graders can move on to fourth grade and the more special education students don't have to have exemptions to do so. Um, some really interesting stuff going on there with how they approach reading instruction not only uh, through the school year but also into the summer. Um, also on A1, uh, Chad Abshire had two stories for us. Uh, first, from the 4-H Fair, a story on their building projects. Uh, Chad talked to a ton of folks out there this morning, and this is part of that, uh, about the uh, projects they were doing, some Lego projects, cooking, all kinds of stuff. Really cool. Hope people will go out to the fairgrounds this week and check those out. Also from Chad, um, a profile of Mark Sharp, who's the assistant fire chief out in Mexico. Uh, really a busy guy. Uh, he's an EMT also, has a job at Chrysler, former foster parent, um, woodworker. Uh, really an interesting fellow. Hope a lot of people will take a look at that story. And uh, finally on A1, we have a uh, staff report, which I worked on a little bit, on an uh, algae advisory down in Mississippi Lake. Uh, if you're planning on swimming in the lake, uh, be careful. Don't take your pets there. Uh, the uh, blue-green algae could uh, make you sick. Um, finally, on the sports page, we have uh, two stories from Nick Roby. Uh, first is about the Mechanical basketball program. Uh, Tim Maben is their new coach after Andy Steele resigned. He said he's looking for improvement next year, uh, not focus so much on wins and losses. And uh, Nick talks to some locals about the World Cup. Uh, the U.S. team is uh, on a hiatus right now. They play again Thursday against Germany for a chance to advance out of the group stage. Uh, but Nick talked to some folks, including uh, North Miami soccer coach Ullman Sanchez, uh, about uh, what the team means to Miami County and uh, about Ullman's native Costa Rica. So uh, really cool stuff there. Hope folks will take a look at that as they uh, get ready for the match uh, with the Germans uh, Thursday afternoon. Um, as always, you can find all those stories in tomorrow's print edition of the Peru Tribune. You can find them online tonight at perutribune.com. And you can find links to them on our Facebook and Twitter pages, which are both Peru Tribune. Uh, finally, you can find me and all of our reporters on Twitter.